Welcome to AppTerabytes. So in this video I wanted to do my best at trying to answer the question that everyone has on their minds which is when will I get my AppTera? I do want to preface this video by saying that there are a lot of assumptions that go into the calculations that went into the model for making this video. I tried to use as much information as we have coming from AppTera and some of the frequently asked questions forums as well as some of the discussion forums to try to get a good sense of what battery sizes are most prominent, where people are ordering their cars from, and when they place their orders. So I started by looking at Google trend maps of searches for the word Aptera in the United States and so these two maps are for the YouTube searches and for the web searches and then these two maps are for image searches and news searches and you can see there are certain states that just have seemingly no interest in Aptera which would include Wyoming and North Dakota. I took one of those maps and I compared it to this other map that you can see below and you can see that there are some similarities in the interest level in Aptera depending on what state you live in and what the political atmosphere of that state may be. So this is a map that I got from a discussion thread on the Aptera website where people were submitting their own locations for where they were ordering their Aptera from and so you can see globally that there are some orders from Southeast Australia near Victoria. There are some orders in Western Europe. Looks like there's an order in Hawaii and otherwise most of the orders are in the United States and Canada. So then if you zoom in on the North American portion of the map you can get a little bit of a sense of where people are ordering their vehicles from. So you can see that there are a good amount over in Northwest Washington, obviously a good amount around San Diego and near San Francisco and Sacramento. Then there's Phoenix, Denver, Houston, Texas. Not a ton of interest as far as we can tell in the Midwest until you get to Illinois and Wisconsin. And then a good amount of interest in Florida. Some interest in Atlanta. A lot of interest near DC including Philadelphia and New Jersey, and then some interest in the Northeast as well. This was a poll that was created by Curtis and he shared it on the Aptera discussion thread and you can see that the 400 mile range version seems to be about 50 percent prevalent at least as of May 28th. So then I created this map where I took all of that data including the interest levels on Google Trends and tried to turn it into the number of orders coming from each state. Again I want to preface this by saying that this model came from a lot of assumptions based on the information that is out there and I understand that a lot of these numbers don't make a lot of sense. For example it looks like Alaska would get about 2510 orders based on this model and I do believe that Although Alaska may have a lot of interest in this vehicle, I don't think that they have the most orders out of any state in the country. So here are the numbers for California and Oregon and Washington as well. And then I overlaid a 300 mile radius from Carlsbad and expanded this out all the way towards the east coast. And basically I used a 300 mile radius with the assumption that Phoenix and Las Vegas may get their cars before everyone else in addition to all of Southern California. And then I just expanded that out in 300 mile increments. So then I looked at what Electromechanica Solo, which is another three wheeled vehicle, what they were able to do in terms of production. And obviously this depends a lot on the number of orders and reservations that they received and the way that their factory is set up 
compared to the way that the Aptera factory is set up and so the two cannot be completely compared but this at least gives a little bit of perspective into another similar vehicle and what they were able to do. So it looks like when they first started delivering vehicles in October of 2021 they were able to deliver about 20 vehicles per month through December of 2021. I then found this chart which shows that they actually produced almost twice as many vehicles as they were delivering during each quarter. And so you can see about one year into production they were delivering about 20 vehicles per month still, but they were producing more than 60 vehicles per month. So this is from the Aptera website where they do indicate that there is a large emphasis on being able to produce these vehicles and ramp up production rapidly. And so Chris Anthony has said many times that the goal is to get the first 1,000 vehicles out to reservation holders that are near Carlsbad, California, and also that they expect to ramp up production over the first year of production, and they expect to get to about 40 vehicles per day that they are producing by the end of that first year. And they are still hoping to produce those vehicles and get them out to reservation holders starting at the beginning of next year. So taking all of that information into account, the fact that about 50% of orders are for the 400 mile battery pack, which is also supposed to go out first before the other versions, they have said that they will start with the 400 mile battery pack and then they will deliver 250 mile battery packs, 600 mile range vehicles, and then 1000 mile range vehicles in that order. And they do expect that the first 1000 will be that 400 mile range vehicle. This table also takes into account the production data from Electromechanica Solo and again there's an assumption that they will use these unknown increments for delivering vehicles and I use the number 300 miles for this data set here and for this particular sheet. I did start the deliveries at the beginning of quarter two of 2023 and although they are hoping to try to get vehicles out by the beginning of 2023 I think that they have been a little bit behind on most of their goals thus far for getting the beta and the gamma out and so based on these delays this is my best guess at when they will start delivering vehicles. So you can look at the month that you ordered your vehicle and so this only goes up to this month and this includes about 32,000 pre-orders which is where we believe Aptera is at at this moment in time probably a little above that by the time this video comes out and you can go to your distance from Carlsbad California and find one of these columns here and so for example I ordered my vehicle in June of 2022 I'm about 2,000 miles from Aptera as the crow flies, and so I would expect to get my vehicle in November of 2024 if they were to start delivering vehicles in April of 2023 with a very slow ramp up over the first year, producing only one to two vehicles per day for the first year, and then there is this sudden increase in production after the first year, which you can see from here to here. So you can make a lot of changes to this chart. You can change the starting date here. So if you change it to January 1st of 2023, you'll see that my date changes from November to August. And so it changes by just about three months. So regardless of when they start to deliver, you can just add or subtract that number of months compared to that starting date that is in the chart or just change it in the chart and see what it changes it to. You'll also want to play around with some of these numbers only if we find out that there is a more specific delivery schedule planned and I will change these numbers myself because it is a little complex 
to try to figure out what each of these numbers correlates to in terms of the cells on this sheet. But I will try to keep this updated if I hear anything else, and that way we will have a good understanding of when you may expect to get your vehicle. The other thing about this sheet is that it works all the way down through orders in September and then starts with the orders that are a little bit further away. And so if you were to extend this sheet down the next six months or so, when I think they will still be taking reservations but not yet making vehicles, it would change these dates, not drastically, but by a noticeable amount. I also created a survey that I will include the link to. So I'll have the link to that Excel sheet so you can try to put in your numbers as we get closer to production and delivery and as we get more information. And also included this link to this survey here where you can answer the range model that you ordered. You can give the distance that you are from Carlsbad and you can provide the month that you ordered your vehicle and it will create some graphs to help us better understand where the interest is and when the orders were placed to get a better understanding of how applicable this model may be. This survey does not take your email address or keep any of your information when you submit your answers, but you do require a Google account to be able to answer this survey.